Network maps and system maps are Kumu's specialty, but Kumu also has the ability to create geographic maps. To get started with a geo map, the first step is to apply the geo template. And to do that, you can open up the advanced editor, add a settings block, and set the template to geo. With the geo map loaded up, I can start adding elements. I'll add one now for the Kumu headquarters. Note that my new element gets placed in the ocean here. That's because I haven't given it any location data yet, so Kumu is just placing it at zero latitude, zero longitude. To add location data, I can add a field called location through the element's profile, and I can enter latitude and longitude into the field. And you can see that the element now moves into its geographic position. Latitude and longitude are the most precise and reliable location data, but you can also use something less precise like a city and state. Sometimes you might want to use a field that isn't named location to store your location data. For example, I might want to name this field address. That's perfectly fine as long as you tell Kumu where to find your data, which we can do using the advanced editor. So first I'll change the field name to address. And if I refresh the page right now, you would actually see this element move back to zero latitude, zero longitude. So to fix that, I'll open up the advanced editor again, and I'll use the geolocation property to tell Kumu that my data is in the address field. Now I can add a second element, and I can give it an address and it snaps into the correct position. To learn more about geomaps in Kumu, go to docs.kumu.io and search geotemplate.